Hi, how are you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create luminosity masks. Luminosity masks enable you to separate whites, mid-tones and blacks. That then means that you can make adjustments individually to each tone. I'm going to walk you through the process. Now, there is a few steps to do this, but it is worth doing. You can always create an action from this. So you can record your steps and then recreate the action meaning you don't have to do these steps every time that you come to a picture that you want to adjust. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your channels are selected. So what we want to do now is we want to come up to the RGB and we want to press control command and then click on the RGB thumbnail there. And you can see that's made a selection for us. Now what we want to do is come down to the bottom here and select the create new mask button. So we're going to click on that and you'll see there it's created alpha one. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to name this L1. So this is stands for light one. You could call it white, so you could call it light, you could call it whatever you want. Then what we want to do is keep on this L1 and we want to press command and shift and option. If you're on a PC, it's Control, Alt, and Shift. So I'm going to press them keys now, and I'm going to click. There we go. We've made another selection. So let's come down to the bottom here, create a new channel. So let's click there, and then I'm going to double click. I'm going to call this L2. So again, keeping on L2 like we did a minute ago for the other one, and we're going to press Command, Shift, and Option if you're on a Mac and Control, Alt and Shift if you're on a PC. So let's select that, come down and let's create a new channel. And I'm gonna call this L3. So we've got our light areas here. These are our light areas and you can see that they, as they go up or down, whichever way you wanna look at it, is a different selection. So we've got, here is just the, uh, the clouds and then we've got a little bit more and then we've got the rest of the lights there, okay? So once we've done that, we then want to select and target the dark area. So press Control Command D to deselect everything. And let's come back up to the RGB channel up here. And what we want to do is press Control or Command on a PC and click on the RGB to make a selection. Then what we want to do is inverse that selection so that we target just the dark areas. So on a Mac, you want to press Command, Shift and I. And on a PC, it will be Control shift and I. So let's do that now. And then from here, what we want to do is click on the icon at the bottom to make a new channel. So let's click on that. And then let's double click on this and let's call this dark one. So I'm going to call that D1 to start with. Then still on D1 here, we want to press on a Mac shift command and option. And on a PC it's control alt and shift. Okay, click, and then let's come down to the bottom and make another selection there. Double click and call this D2. And then on D2, we're going to do the exact same. So on a Mac, it will be Shift, Command, and Option. And on a PC, it will be Control, Alt, and Shift. So let's click, and then come down, create a new mask, and then double click and call that Dark 3. So now we've done that, we've separated the whites and the blacks. So let's press Control Command D just to deselect everything. And now what we want to do is select the midtone. So come up to the RGB, and then what we want to do is press Control or Command A to select everything. We want to come down to L1, and we want to press Command and Option on a Mac, and Control and Alt on a PC. So let's click on that there. That's made a selection on the lights one, so the whites one. And then we're going to do the same, but for the darks. So let's come to the darks, do the same. So I'm going to hold Option and Command and then select. And if you're on a PC, it's going to be Control and Alt. Now this is going to say to you, warning, no pixels of more than 50% are selected. And that's fine because we are selecting quite a small area. So let's just say okay to that. And the marching ants will disappear and it may feel like you've done something wrong, but it's, it's absolutely fine. All you wanna do is come down and create another 
new mask down here and then we can call that midtones or grays whatever you want to call it let's just call that midtones okay so now we've done that we can now start making the adjustments so let's go into our layers panel here and let's come up to l1 and let's just click on the rgb just to bring back the color if we come to the l1 if we press Control or command on the l1 that is going to make a selection now if we come down to here and make a new adjustment layer so let's select curves what we can now do is make our adjustment but you'll see that this is only affecting the light areas from l1 so the whitest of the whites this gives us a lot of control so as you can see here, i'm just going to bring them clouds down a little bit there we go so i'm happy with that let's come to the um the next which is l2 let's again press Control or command click on l2 to make a selection come down and let's make another curves adjustment and again we can now have a little bit more control in them l2 areas now so the, the lighter areas of l2 and once you're happy with that that's fine you can then say okay i'm i'm happy with that and what i want to do now is i want to target l3 areas so you may not need to do this on every single one um, but let's just make a selection so command or control on l3 click on rgb just to bring it back and just to bring the color back and then let's come down and make another curves adjustment and you'll see that we're now selecting areas in that l3 now there's not much difference in the light areas of this image which you can tell so let's target these darker areas then so let's go to dark one and let's press Control command d to d to select all of that so select the rgb so you can see the colors and let's come down to the bottom and select a curves adjustment so what we're going to be doing now is just selecting the darkest areas within the whole of the image so we could actually bring this up quite a bit there we go so that looks pretty good let's select the dark two areas so again control command click on the d2 click on the rgb just so you can see the colors again come down and let's make another curves adjustment now you can do any adjustment that you want it doesn't have to be a curves but i'm just using curves because this is going to bring out some detail there we go and you can see there this is really powerful because it means that we can control absolutely everything so d3 let's press control or command click on that area there click on the rgb just so we can see the colors come down let's make a curves adjustment and i'll show you how much control this one has so you can see there it's selecting a little bit more now once you've finished you can literally save it as it is and save all the channels or you can come to layer and you can flatten the image there and that'll flatten all the layers down but it will still keep your channels for you so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.